Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on the Battle of Blocks minigame. So this is a really awesome minigame with kits where each team fights to destroy the enemy block. So let's go ahead and create a brand new arena by doing Battle of Blocks. It's a very long command. Uh, add arena followed by the arena name. Let's call it uh, Test, like that. Um, so then if we do the battle of blocks command, that will show us all of the various commands that we need to set up an arena. If you do battle of blocks 2, that will show you all of the configuration commands such as lives, rewards, etc. Um, so yeah. Next we need to set the location you are teleported to when the game ends, so set end for test. And then we also need to set the weight room as well. Then we are going to go into the red zone spawn area and set that now. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. Set start for the red team. And it's going to be for the arena test. And just do the same for the blue team. Like this. Bloop. Like that. Next we need to actually set um, the red and blue block that uh, we have to destroy and then we'll get points for that. So the way to do that is by doing add blocks. So if we do uh, battle of blocks, add block blue, and then test, uh, we have to place any block and it will uh, turn into a blue wall. Then do the same for red, and even if I use blue, it will still turn into a red wall like that. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. And I believe that is uh, everything uh, on how to create an arena. You can obviously create a sign. I'll show you how to do that now. You can do uh, bat of B and then the arena name on the second line. So yeah, quite an easy way to create a sign. Let's go on to the second page and we can just configure lots of different things. So set start min. So the minimum amount of players before an arena starts, I'm going to set it to two. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Then we can set the max players as well. Um, just anything you want really. So for 45, why not? Um, and then set lives. So how many times the block can be broken um, before a particular team wins. So two for test. And um, we are going to set on win how many points you get. And points can unlock classes and whatnot. So uh, set the server coins reward on any win, which is going to be maybe 20, like that. And you can obviously add rewards and yeah. So I think that is everything. Um, and then you can right click to join and then you will get these items. So you can look at the shop and obviously here you can buy kits. And obviously I don't have any points or money or anything. Um, so we can't actually buy any of these, but if we look in the kit chooser, uh, we can pick any of these. So maybe pick the Phoenix class, and we're going to pick the blue team. So the game has now started, and as you can see, um, we have a leather tunic that's blue, so we can identify which team we're on. We have a sword, and we have an inferno, which is obviously um, the item we get for the class we chose. Uh, Phoenix, I believe it was. Uh, Power-ups, we can use these when we get points, so if my other account will come out of hiding, um, we can uh, sort them out like that. Um, if you look above his head, there is um, some hearts. I don't know whether that's this plugin. I do have some other plugins on my server, but it might be, which is uh, really cool if it is. So let me see if I can actually buy a power-up. Um, let me have a look. So we could buy a snowball. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then that will obviously slow the enemies down. So if we break um, the enemy block, that will uh, make them lose a life. And obviously they have two. So if we break it again, they will lose and they will win and get um, points and money. So yeah, that is the plugin. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.